Hey everyone, I'm Steve and I'm here in the shop at the wood turning store. And in this video, this is a follow up to the last one where we introduced the new Axminster SK88, 88 millimeter wood turning chuck. And in this video, as promised, we're going to go through some of the jaws and a little bit closer look at the SK88. So the SK88, as I mentioned, 88 millimeters across, and it's designed to be a lower cost chuck, particularly for midi and mini lathes. Uh, we are here in 2024, and the difference in cost between the flagship SK114 and the SK88 is about $160, so almost half price. And once you have the chuck, as you may not be aware, the jaws are compatible throughout the entire range. So if you have an SK88 chuck, you can certainly put on SK100 jaws, and we'll show you that as well. So let's quickly go over the jaws, and we'll take a closer look in a few minutes, but this is the SK88 chuck right here, and the jaws going from uh, your right to left, we have the type A dovetail jaws, we have the type D dovetail jaws, the O'Donnell jaws, type H gripper jaws, serrated jaws, deep grip jaws designed for hollow forms, type E jaws, and pen turners jaws. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's take a look at the type E jaws. The previous SK80 chuck used the C-type jaws that came with the package. That was a classic that's been around for 25, 30 years. And the C-jaws are part of a system which held a screw chuck, Morse taper, prong center, other things. Customers asked for it, so Axminster delivered. They switched over to the new type E jaw, which is a dovetail on the inside, on the inside, and the outside. They've changed the screw chuck. The screw chuck now is more typical as you see with other manufacturers. And the screw chuck sits inside the center part of the jaw, just like that. You may not realize, but I'll show you that there is actually a third dovetail in here, and that dovetail is right in here for very, very small pieces. So you have three dovetails, one, two, three. That is the E-jaw. I will look at the box right here, and Axminster conveniently puts the jaw dimensions on the outside of the box. What we've done here in the shop is we've photocopied the cover of the box, laminated it, index card style, and we keep these handy so we can see the dimensions of the chuck jaws. So as I go over the jaws, I'll just read them out to you. So again, we have the E-type jaws. Interior dovetail is 16 millimeters. The next one here is 40 millimeters, and the outside is 57 millimeters. That's the type E jaws. Next are the type A dovetail jaws. Once again, Three dovetails, one on the inside, way down in here, for very tiny pieces. Another one right here, both of these would compress down on a tenon, and then you have your exterior here for expanding into a recess. We have an interior dovetail of 16 millimeters, 52 millimeters or two inches, and 83, so you can expand into an 83, or just a little bit bigger than a three inch recess. That's the dovetail type A. Next, we have the dovetail type D, 17 and a half millimeters, eight millimeters from top to bottom. And these are the exact same profile as the D jaws that are available for the SK100. Really great for doing tiny, tiny work. Here are the deep grip jaws. Very, very useful for hollow forms, and also very similar to those available for the SK114 and the SK100, but of course these are smaller. Serrated in nature, designed for gripping end grain. Depth from here to here is 27 millimeters, so just longer than an inch. 
40 millimeters across on the interior, 57 on the outside, so longer than, wider than two inches on the outside. Again, you have another, this time a cylinder right in, in here. Not dovetail, but cylinder for gripping tiny things, 16 and a half millimeters. Those are the SK88 deep grip jaws. For those of you that love serrated jaws, here are the Type H gripper jaws. Again, they have a similar, um, similar Type H for the SK100, which would be slightly larger in profile. You can grip in three different points. Inside here, you have a 10 millimeter cylinder. Across the inside here, you can grip down on a 40 millimeter cylinder, or you can expand into a 53 millimeter recess. serrated, and while not as strong as dovetail jaws, I know a lot of turners love their serrated jaws. And what I think will promise to be a real winner for the SK-88 are pen jaws. In this case, for the SK-88, they offer you two pen jaws, not four, like with the SK-100, and it is designed to grip down on a square pen blank. And lastly, we have the old Donald jaws, which are probably the most popular jaw for the SK-100. In the SK-100, it's available as a three-in-one set, which is very popular. Here, for the SK-88, it's available to, to grip down on a 35 millimeter cylinder or 37 millimeter dovetail or expand into a 50 millimeter recess. These are great for various uses and they really allow you to get your piece away from the headstock, giving you tool access from both sides. One of the great things about the SK-88 is available in a one and a quarter by eight spindle, which the SK-80 was not. So here I am about to put it on my one and a quarter inch by eight spindle American Beauty, but that will also work for Paramatic, so many other lathes out there, uh, even mini lathes now, as I said, mini and mini lathes are coming out with one and a quarter by eight. Uh, it has three set screws for reverse turning. This uses a drill type external, external gear, drill chuck type key, and you can lock it down in one, two, three places. So let's get that on the spindle here. The accessories that work for the SK100 Clubman will work here. It comes with a standard key, standard short key. Also available is a long key when you're turning large bowls and platters. And also offered is a spanner wrench, which as you can see, goes right into the drill chuck hole right here. Wraps around the body and allows you to easily remove the chuck. And lastly, which I showed in the other video, you have a faceplate ring, which goes over the E-jaws, and this is included in the package. So that very quickly covers all of the jaws for the SK-88. What we'll do next is we'll put together an individual video for each jaw showing you some sample, uh, sample turning pieces that the jaws will grip down on. I hope this was helpful. Please like, subscribe, share, put any comments down. If you'd like to see other videos about Axminst or anything else that we offer here at the Wood Turning Store, please let me know. Thanks again for watching.